Your Excellency, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Madam Samia Sulu Hassan, and your entire entourage, the government ministers and others accompanying you. Your Eminence, Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, your eminences, your excellences, archbishops and bishops, priests, religious men and women, our cooperating partners, my brothers and sisters in Christ. It is my great honor to welcome you all with your government and the government officials to this gathering of the Catholic bishops from the Association Member Episcopal Conferences of Eastern Africa, Amasia. I thank you and all our Tanzanian brothers and sisters for welcoming us into your country, a nation known for its unique, welcoming culture and an oasis of peace. And we can attest to that since we arrived. I'm allowed to remove this veil of the pledge. Amesia region comprises of Ethiopia, as already stated, Eritrea, Kenya, Malawi, Tanzania, Uganda, Sudan, South Sudan, Zambia, and also the affiliate members of Djibouti and Somalia. Present before you, Madam President, is a, is a gathering of devout Catholics and the Catholic leaders of all these countries stated above and the global universal Catholic Church. We are here to give thanks and praise to our living God to interact with one another as members of the Amesia family. Therefore, present here before you, Madam, you see the leaders. With a driving force of what life gives us at this present moment. We come in this beautiful city of Dar es Salaam to reflect on the theme, the environmental impact on integral human development. This theme is drawn from the message of His Holiness, Pope Francis, who in 2015, he sent to the whole world an encyclical letter entitled Laudato Si, giving praise to the living God and to nature on care for our common home. The letter is a reminder and reminds us all Catholics and all people of goodwill that everything on earth is part of God's creation, must be valued as such. In this way, the Pope urges us to appreciate the fact that care for Mother Earth is not something we must do as a hobby, but rather as great commitment for what God has created, he deemed it good. In fact, Pope Francis wants us to see the inseparable connection between the environmental crisis as being experienced in our countries and human behavior. Your Excellency, Madam President, we recognize that our environmental stewardship requires collaboration between government and other stakeholders. In fact, we are glad to learn that the environmental agenda is also something very dear to your heart and your government. Delivering on the cause for environmental care amidst the environmental crisis which our countries already are facing, such as floods, 
droughts, cyclones require a collective transborder and global response. And this is a matter of, the matter of agency, considering that the crisis is affecting the plight of millions of our brothers and sisters, especially those who are less privileged. So it's the entire world that is susceptible to these climate adversities. It is for this reason that this requires resolute leadership from you, our political leaders, to open up the borders, fight the degradation of the, our environment and other upheavals that may be there in our countries to draw the leadership of oneness. As I move around the International Conference Center that is named after the founding father of the nation, Julius Nyerere, I see the images and the photos of the frontliner state, statesmen who were at the core of the foundation of our nations and the fighting for independence. We pray that you, our political leaders, may gather us as one, one family. Ensure that we enrich all our economic strides in our nations, that we may prosper, taking care of the poor ones, looking for justice that it may reign in our homes. We are privileged to have your mother president among us and to be with us. It is for this reason and a singular honor for me to call upon you and address us, Madam President. Thank you.